Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Indie Miss. I am very excited for today's video because we're going to be doing like a full face of Muse Beauty and most of this is going to be first impressions. I've got three new products to try out from them today and they all look really, really stunning. So if you're not familiar with Muse Beauty, they are an indie brand that really focuses on being inspired by art. I really, really love their aesthetic. I actually sent over the hoodie that I'm wearing right now, I'll show you guys. It says Muse Beauty, You Are Art, and it's this really beautiful soft blue color. I love it. It's so, so cute. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this all the time. But they did send it to me along with all the makeup that I'm talking about today. I'm also affiliated with Muse Beauty, so if you are wanting to make a purchase from them, you can use the code Amy loves to save you money off and I also make a small commission. So the products that we're gonna be testing out today, first and foremost, we have the new Van Gogh palette, which looks super, super cute. And then here is the inside. So it's definitely more of like a smoky palette. There's some green, yellow, blue. This does remind me a little bit of a palette that Lethal Cosmetics did, which I can leave on screen here for you guys because I was comparing them earlier and they're not exactly the same, but the color stories are pretty similar but I'm not like really thinking too hard about it because this color story is obviously inspired by this painting. I think this is just zoomed into the Starry Night painting by Van Gogh. I'm not super informed on art, so if I get anything wrong, I apologize. And then they also have their Impressionism collection, which they have an Impressionism palette I've done a video on before, but they have slowly been adding to it. And I think they said next year they're going to move on to a different theme, but they released their color wash and color sheen duos and I was so excited about these because I feel like they're super, super on trend and if they're high quality, I'm going to be using them all the time. So the color sheen is the highlight and they have the shade airy and ambient here. This is the lighter duo. They have another one, which I'll leave on screen for you in case you want to check it out, which has a little bit darker highlighters, but I thought these look really beautiful. They're definitely both pretty like yellow, warm toned but I love cream products. I'm obsessed with them right now. And then the other one is the Color Wash. Again, there's two duos available. I asked for them to send me the lightest one, which honestly, when I saw this, this is timeless and daydream. When I saw this in person, I was like, oh gosh, I think they sent me the wrong one because these do look like pretty vibrant shades. Um, but no, this is the lighter one. So I'll leave the other one on screen for you guys as well in case you want to look at that but I'm excited to go ahead and test it out. I know I can only use so much on my face today, but at least we'll be able to get a, a try for the formula and stuff like that. And then I'll finish the whole look off with one of my favorite lip products from Muse Beauty, just to do the whole thing. Shout out to my patrons because I did a little poll on Patreon. So I have so much new makeup, I didn't know what to film with first, and they voted to see this. So that is what I'm doing today. Okay, so first we have the shade Night, which, ooh, that's very creamy and pigmented. I'm shook. That's a really nice deep matte blue. We have this shade Irises, which looks like, ooh. Okay, that's almost like a periwinkle. I was not expecting that shade. That is absolutely beautiful. I feel like I need that all over my eyelids ASAP. And then we have the shade Sunflower, which looks like a really bright kind of marigold yellow. Look at that color, I love that color. Okay, next we have the shade Blossom, which looks like a really smoky blue shade. We have Cypress, which looks like an olive matte green. Everything is feeling super pigmented and smooth. We have Starlight, which is a soft yellow shimmer. Absolutely love shades like that. Okay, next we have Avoir. I'm not sure. It's a really, wow, creamy, pigmented, looks like charcoal gray. I wouldn't say it's a black exactly, but it feels very, very soft. Then we have Terrace, which looks like a really beautiful kind of green, bronzy shade. And last but not least is Cottage, which is a pretty warm brown. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, yeah, I would say definitely swatched out. It does um, look quite a bit different than the Lethal palette I compared it to, which it looks more similar to just in the pan, but I think it looks really, really cute. It's a very unique color story. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Night. I'm just gonna grab that on a little pencil brush 
and start that off on my outer V. Not sure exactly what I want to do yet, but just gonna follow my heart, I guess. And I'm just gonna kind of shape that out, not worrying too much about blending. I guess that's all right to start off with. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a clean blending brush. And by clean, I mean I'm wiping it off right now. And I'm going to just blend over the edge a little bit, not taking any additional product. I feel like this is a good way to sheer out the blue a little bit without having to go in with any other shades. And then I'm just gonna go back into a little bit more blue and probably do that one more time. I kind of have this idea going of like doing a really super deep blue smoky outer V and then doing that periwinkle shimmer all over the front of the lid. I'm also just while I'm here gonna take a little bit of that blue and connect it to my lower lash line and then going into the blending brush again. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that darkest charcoal gray shade with my pencil brush. I'm gonna deepen up the outer V a little bit more. I don't wanna go in with too much because I still want it to be blue. This is the 27S from Wayne Goss and I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit too big for me for the lower lash line, but for doing detailed work with the crease, it's actually really, really nice. I've been enjoying it a lot. Definitely not a regret to purchase that one. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Blossom on a smaller pencil brush, and I'm gonna pop that along like the middle of the lower lash line. That one almost has like a little bit of a green undertone. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and, hmm, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Terrace and I'm gonna pop that on the front of the lower lash line right here. I feel like overall looking at this palette, it's definitely gonna be a bit more smoky for most of the looks you would get out of it. Unless you went in with the yellow in the crease and went super, super warm. But, I mean, I guess you could do the yellow in the crease and then do blue, and that could be pretty too. I don't know, I'm really liking it though. All right, I'm wiping off that pencil brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Starlight, and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. Okay, so now before I go in with the shimmer shade, I mean, I guess, uh, let me see. I'll go in with it just as is and see how I like it. I'm gonna take, oh, I should tell you. I mean, I'm pretty sure you already know, but I'm taking the shade Irises. And I'm just gonna pop that on. You know what? I don't even feel like I need to go in with anything else or a glitter primer or anything. I'm just gonna pop that on the entire front of my lid. And like I said, I'm gonna kind of bring it into the crease a little bit more. I'm being a little bit more messy with it, but I just want that shade to have like a full moment because it's so pretty. All right, I'm picking up a little bit of that on my pencil brush and just blending it through my crease. All right, off camera, I'm gonna try and find a black liner for my waterline, throw on some mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so before we apply the blush and the highlight, I haven't done any bronzer or contour today, and I only set with just a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. So I pulled out my Fenty Beauty Amber Matchstick just to do a little bit of cream contour. Since we're going cream with all the other face products, I thought it would work. I didn't really want to do a powder bronzer underneath the cream, so just going to blend that in with my foundation brush. Okay, so let's just go ahead and before we decide which blush to do today, I'm gonna swatch both of them. So this first one here is called Timeless. Okay, so picking it up, it does look maybe not quite as bright. It looks like a like bright pink rather than like a super bright red in here. And then Daydream looks like a really beautiful like sheeny peachy color. I don't know if either of them necessarily go with what I've got going on on my eyes today. I think I'm gonna do this one just cause the sheen looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna pick up a little bit cause it's always easier to add more than it is to take away. And just start blending that in. Oh yeah, that does have a really beautiful soft sheen. 
little goes a long way because that was barely anything. I'm curious to see how they'll last throughout the day. But so far, blending nice, has good pigmentation, looks glowy and soft on the skin. It doesn't look weird. And then swatching out the color sheen, we have the shade Airy, which looks like a pretty bright yellowy gold. And then Ambient looks like <laughs> a gold that's a little bit more bronzy gold. I don't know if that even makes sense. They're actually quite similar. I wish that there was a little bit more difference between them. I think I'm gonna do this one just because it looks like it's better suited. Oh, it's nice, it's better suited to my skin tone. So I'm just dipping into a little bit of Airy. Oh gosh, I'm scared, it looks really pigmented. Just gonna pop that on the top of my cheekbones. Okay. It doesn't necessarily look bad, but I definitely see like a sparkle in the shimmer and I feel like it's really um, grabbing onto any texture on my cheeks. It's emphasizing it. So right off the bat, I'm not liking the highlight as much. I feel like the blush didn't do that, but it's definitely emphasizing the texture on my cheekbones. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna use my Muse Beauty Lips Gloss in the shade Cezanne. All right guys, so this is a finished look. I love how the eyes actually ended up matching with the hoodie pretty well, which was not what I planned to do originally when I threw this on. But overall, I would say I'm really, really impressed with the palette. I feel like the color story is really beautiful. It applied beautifully on the eyes. I had no issues with blending or building up the shadows or anything like that. I think it's a really, really cute look and I'm excited to play with that more, especially just because I feel like there's like a lot of like smoky, colorful looks that could come out of that, even though it's only nine pans. As far as the blush duo, I thought that looked really, really pretty on the skin and I'm excited to just continue to test that out. The highlighter, I'm not as big of a fan with, even just looking at my skin. I just feel like it doesn't look the absolute best and if I'm being honest, like there's so many other highlighters in my collection, whether they be cream or powder that don't emphasize my texture, that I just don't see myself reaching for the color sheen duo as much. And this isn't a first impression, but I do really love this peachy gloss from them. I mentioned it in my top 10 indie nude glosses. Even as dry and sad as my lips are from winter, this still looks really good. So I really, really like the formula of those. They also have one that's like a color changing from clear to pink, which is nice. But that's pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And I will see you tomorrow for another day of Indie Miss. Bye.